Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, here once again with a mystery box. Uh, this showed up a couple days ago. I'm assuming straight from China based on the, the packing tape on there and the fact that the label underneath this label has got a bunch of, uh, uh, it says China Post. I have no idea what's in it. I wasn't really expecting anything, but uh, we're going to bust this thing on open and find out. We're going to rip into it, tear it to shreds with love. Yes, it's a mystery box. I don't have the slightest clue what it is. Uh, I have uh, no idea. But we're going to go ahead and use my newly unboxed Bird Blades Mini Barber to open this thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm expecting some things from a couple of brands, but I didn't expect any of it to come from China. So, uh, you know, at least not straight from China. You know what I mean? If we can get into this guy, can we? Maybe? Love the love the barber and the mini barber, but hello, <gasps> hello, <gasps> yeah, boy, it's from Bosti. Nothing left in there. Goodbye. Good, good catch, Jesus. Nice, nicely done. We got a knife from Bosti, boys. Look at that. Uh, okay, all right, and it is the raccoon, the raccoon, dude. This is their new button lock, sealed. Sealed up, baby. Love their packaging. Let me open this up real quick and I'll, I'll show you why without... Man, I got the coffee shakes this morning. Something awful, let me tell you. Woof. Let's take a looky loo. Love their packaging. Love, love, love. Really nice. It reminds me of how fountain pens are packaged if you ever unboxed a, a nice high-end fountain pen. Same thing. Same thing. So we got the gray box Vosteed logo. Vosteed. The uh, model number there. Raccoon. C850 Raccoon Blue. Never seen a blue raccoon before. Move the sleeve out of the way. And we have this nice metal tin, dude. It's so nice with the embossed Vosti logo on there. Very rattly. And then it's just a little clamshell, dude. Pops right open. We got a pouch inside, a whole bunch of paperwork. We got a nice, nice patch, a nice uh, microfiber cloth. <laughs> Dead or alive, wanted. Vosteed Raccoon. Cash reward, $59 million. Armed and very dangerous. I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Raccoon's been getting in my trash lately, so, uh, wonder if it's the same one. Let's open this thing up. So this is a new button lock, uh, affordable budget button lock from them. Ooh, I love the color. In the pouch, nothing, just the knife. Nothing else crazy going on. They go the extra mile with the packaging, and I appreciate that. Pull this thing out. Oh, yes. The Vastid Raccoon Micarta button lock. Thumb studs only. I just punched myself in the chin for no apparent reason. We have a stamped deep carry pocket clip at a, in a very bizarre location. I would like to see it moved up a little bit. Kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, decent tension to it. Got the little, uh, let me zoom you in. Got the little uh, Vastid logo stamped on there. Clean. I like this color of micarta. Nice. Honestly, really nice micarta as well. Nice and uh, you can hear it. Sandpaper texture to it, which I, I dig. Uh, we got stainless steel liners in there. And it is a button lock, baby. Thumb studs only. Let's give this thing a flick. Nice. Nice. Feels nice. Good uh, good tension to that. Lock up. Really solid. Holy shit. Lock up solid as a rock. Look at that thing. It's just a nice, clean knife, man. We have this real nice drop point style blade. Belt satin finish on it in one, uh, actually 14C, 28 ends of blade seal on here. Nice, relatively thin blade stock. Nice jimping here on the blade spine. Decent access to those thumb studs. Had no issues with that. Skeletonized liners. Good to see. Keep the weight down. Very lightweight. Uh, size comparison for you. There is a pair of three. So just a hair longer than a pair of three. Uh, what else do I have? Laying around, you know. What else? What else? Do I have? Oh, here's a rock wall. My one of my faves. Tactile Knife Co. Rock wall. It's a little bit longer than the rock wall. About a quarter inch longer than than either of these. So there you go. In hand. Let's check this thing out, dude. In hand. Feels great. Super thin. It's very boxy. No real chamfering or uh, you know, uh, uh, any no contouring. But in it locks in. Feels really nice in the hand. Thumb lands on that jimping. Feels nice. We got a real interesting kind of hook-shaped 
finger choil up here, so you can choke way up. And that feels good too. Pinch grip. All day. All day. Get your detail work done. You know what I mean? You gotta love a good pinch grip. Very nice. Honestly, the first budget button lock I've ever opened that has zero blade play. None. Like, uh, none. Not a wiggle out of that thing. Nice micarta backspacer on here too. It's just a nice clean design. I'm not sure how much these are going for. 60, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. Future me, price here. Wow, reasonable. Wow, we. Great looking. Let's check the action real quick. Ooh, running on bearings has to be. Action is great. Just swing shut. Reverse flick, feels good. Thumb flick, all day. Just push the button and give her a flick. No problems, baby. No problems at all. Very nice. How are they doing this? What kind of witchcraft are you doing over there, Vostine? That is solid, man. Especially for a sub $100 button lock. I've had $200 button locks that have more blade play than this. Uh, what kind of, what's going on here, pal? What's going on here? What kind of sorceries going on over at Vostine HQ? Not, oh, and the pocket clip is reversible, I just noticed. Very nice. Really clean profile, really clean looking knife. Uh, you know, nothing crazy, just a nice fidgety button lock, man. And I love a good fidgety button lock. Let's check the sound. Kind of a dull thud, no tings or tangs. Probably has to do with the micarta on there. But, uh, comes in a, a handful of different colors. I'll be sure to leave links for this down below. We ought to cut something with it. Like I said, tall, flat ground, 14C, 28M blade on this. Ooh, baby. My last boss deed was a razor, the nightshade, so I'm sure this one will be no exception. We're out of phone book paper, so we've moved on to the Smoky Mountain Knife Works magazine here. See if this thing will cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm, excellent. Excellent factory edge. Nice and thin and slicey. Great for everyday carry. Opening the mail. Busting open the packages. You know, as one tends to do. Would I go camping with it? Maybe. Would I take it to the office? Absolutely. The Vosteed. The friggin' raccoon from Vosteed. I'm very, genuinely impressed. Very, very solid for a budget button lock. Like, really solid. No button stick either. Like all the little things that most budget button locks you run into, a little, little bit of button stick, a little bit of blade play, kind of things you have to live with if you're buying a budget button lock. They're not here. I don't know how they've done that. Um, and it was sealed in the pouch, so it's not like they picked the best one and sent it to me. You know what I mean? They did send this to me for free, but I, I mean, shit. Very impressed. Finally, a budget button lock that I don't have to mess around with straight out of the box. Good stuff, Vosteed. Very good stuff. Again, links in this for the description. Blah, blah, blah. Links in the description for this, the Boss Deed Raccoon. Like, again, if I find discounts, I will be sure to link those down there as well. Uh, but that is it from me, Boss Deed Raccoon. Check it out for yourself. And until next time, thank you all. Oh, wait, no, not until next time. Not the full review, just the unboxing, some first impressions. Plenty of pictures on Instagram as well as Kara's Instagram, so check us out there. But uh, that's it from me, man. Raccoon, I'm impressed. A little trash panda here blowing my mind. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye now. Thank you.